all right guys well if you're seeing this video it means that we uh <laughs> we decided to get the t5 <laughs> so we're looking around the yard and we found this 3.8 liter mustang it's a 1998 and when we looked inside it turned out to be a five speed nice. so let's look in here quick recap of what we see here and there you go so one two three four five boom 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 and it's kind of rare to see these t5s in the yards because you know everybody picks them they, they get picked quick let's look at the mileage here and we've got 131,000 miles which is really good i think this t5 has got tons of life left in it and yeah i think uh we're gonna be taking this thing home i think this would be a very very nice upgrade for the comment so ain't nothing left to do but let's get to work okay let's get in this thing and uh bobby's gonna set the timer start it boom so you can i think you turn it off and it'll still get the timer on there oh yeah but uh let's do it let's get these things started oh okay we're starting with the shifter yeah and uh bobby's uh bobby's saying you could do this in 45 minutes maybe even less i think maybe even less man oh okay <laughs> oh all right, so what you need there? Uh, 516 or eight millimeter right here. Eight mil, right here, suck right it. Here, right here. Okay, let's, uh, it's crunch time. It's time to get to work. We're not gonna use that, huh? That boot, it's gonna be all different. You can. Nice little T5. All right, we've got the top shifter out. And now we're gonna get to getting this. So what's the plan here? No plan. Are we gonna just take the- Seven minutes. Disconnect it from the bell housing and then take off the drive shaft and it should should all come out here. Let me flip around. Sorry. Holy cow. <laughs> all right. Dude, holy. Just fold this stuff Dude, out the that took like three minutes. Oh, hey. She's a leaker. Oh, wait. Oh, let go, bro! <laughs> now all we have to do is let's disconnect it from the bell housing, maybe, no? Yep. Or yep. Maybe just right here, right there, one there, and right one over there. Is it that much to take it out though, with with the bell housing? Well, no, we'll get it in two steps. Uh huh. We'll get it in two steps. All right. It'll be a lot better that way, just because then we can worry about getting the bell getting housing them. with a lot shorter extensions and we can see everything. All right, so, for sure. Let's do it. All right, boom. Much easier than the AOD from that Thunderbird. Yeah, this is way faster than AOD. We're already at 10 minutes. So let's go. 10 minutes, let's go. Okay. Two bolts. We're at 13 minutes, by the way. 13 minutes. We've got two more to go. And where's the other one over here? Oh, that's gonna be hard to get to. All right. All right. 
we're almost there you got the mounts almost got the bell housing off what time is it 21 21 minutes so, uh, we ran into some issues with trying to track down tools these, we're figuring some these top bolts are a little cramped there we uh we're not expecting to pull a transmission today but uh yeah bobby's a beast and he's look at that dang it's already oh it's already starting to bop she's lopsided <laughs> all right we gotta, we gotta jump in here again the last thing would be these two bolts and then uh She's coming down. Holy cow. Does that account the does that include the whole transmission? Got or just this? this? Wire right here. The 45 minute. Is it just the body or the oh, bell housing too? I didn't I didn't specify that. So oh. we'll leave that up to debate in the comments section below. Alright. Debate in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there she blows. Gear wrench, man. She's gone. Okay. Uh, I guess these aren't impact rated. First time I've blown apart a socket. <laughs> I've been using impacts on all these forever. <laughs> Casualty. So we'll get the starter out, and then we'll we'll drop this down, and then this will all come down, and I'll I'll swing this down over my head. All right. No, don't don't put on your belly, man. Like the AOD. I can put it on my belly. <laughs> nah, man. This is probably like bench press it. Ninety pounds or eighty-five pounds. Holy! All easy. right. <laughs> How much time you got? What's Twenty-eight it? minutes. Twenty-eight minutes. All right. All right. Let me get to work here. Um. Okay, watch out. Got it, got it, got it. All right, watch out. Just watch your hands. Yo! <laughs> Easy, man. Oh my god. Easy. Yo! <laughs> Here we go. Tremec is out. And uh, she doesn't look too bad. Definitely does not look too bad. I think it's gonna be awesome in the comment. Uh, we still got some work to do. Let's get this bell housing out of here. See, we can take the clutch and all that as well. Oh yeah, a lot more room. A lot more room now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna need those for sure. What's the uh, time? What's the time right now? 41 minutes. 41 minutes. So we took it out at the 40 mark. No, at like 30, 38. 38 minute mark? Uh, All right. Well, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Bang. Transmission out. You can pull uh, all nice this stuff little out. little clutch fork. Bada bing. Oh, come on. Bada boom. Looks kind of new. Yeah. Newer. Okay. Let's see. Back got it. Yeah, got I the got it. Ooh. Okay. There we are. Nice little bow housing. Yep. So these. Uh, how this works is this guy will sit right here like this against here, and when you push your foot on a clutch, it pulls this guy out. It's a cable clutch. Nice. What is that? 
clutch looking like? Oh, it's looking pretty brand new. Looks good. I just dumped a bunch of. Wow. Okay. All right. This is, uh, I think we're done. We are done. We're going to leave the clutch and all that. We're not going to use it. It's not uh, able to be used on the on the Comet. But uh, what's the time? What's the time on there? Oh. What you got? I stopped the clock at 55 minutes. 55 minutes. From the time we undid the shift boot all the way to getting the transmission out three minutes ago. So, <laughs> all right. Well, well, bell housing out. Transmission was out at like 37 minutes or something like that. <laughs> let's uh, let's change it under an hour. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling a oh, yeah. T5 under an hour. There you go. T5. Boom. Let's load it up and uh, let's get this thing home. So there we go. Assemble the T5. Put the bell housing back on it. And uh, she's all complete and she's ready to go. Boom. Let's see, I think we're ready to go. And uh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. We're ready to go. All you can carry? Is this an all you can carry yard? I wish. <laughs> 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Put it over my head. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. That is so cool. This thing is ready to go. Lightweight, so, good for like 300 horsepower, be alright. 300 horsepower, I think it'll be just fine in the little Comet. But um, yeah, let's go pay for this thing. I'll show you guys how much this thing costs out the door, taxes and all. And uh, let's get this thing home. Boom. All right, guys, we've got the T5. We're finally home and check this thing out. This thing is really nice. It does have some damage up here on this bolt hole. I'm not sure what's uh, going on with that, but I don't think that'll be a huge problem. But uh, let's talk about the cost because that's what we all want to know is how much these uh, junkyard parts cost. So we've got the receipt right here and uh, we're looking at $269 for the transmission plus the $30 core charge. So we're looking at $300 for the transmission. We've got the distributor for $34, which is really nice. Uh, they also charge the distributor cap on there, $5.89. Let's see, I picked up a dipstick for the 289 Comet, $5 is a really good deal. And here is the total for everything. $419 we've got the core charges we've got uh, an environmental fee and other miscellaneous fees as well but there you go so $300 uh, for the transmission well 400 for everything in total um, I don't think it's a bad deal I think it's pretty good considering that uh, you know these t5s here in California they tend to go for about you know 800 to a thousand dollars in this condition which is kind of crazy but these transmissions are getting a lot harder to find here is the distributor which is really nice we've got the Petronics on there so that was definitely a score but man what is the plan for this transmission well let's get into it so what's the plan with the T5 well we're gonna put it in this car the 64 Comet Cyclone and man, this is going to be such a nice upgrade for this car with that extra fifth overdrive gear. The goal for this car has always been to keep it as light as possible. We want to shed all the weight off this car and this transmission is pretty light. Uh, I'm going to look into some research and seeing what I can do to beef, beef this thing up. If you guys have some suggestions or experience with this transmission, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we definitely want to beef this thing up. So the plan with the comment is to replace the whole floor pan. We got to brace the whole car and make sure it doesn't move on us. And then uh, we're going to take the whole engine and the T10 transmission all out in one go, replace the floor pan, and then put the 289 back in with the T5. And that is the goal with this transmission and with this car. I've got the fiberglass fenders for this car as well and the fiberglass bumper and all that stuff. So 
this thing is gonna go on a pretty big diet pretty soon and man I cannot wait to get this thing started that's gonna be it I will see you guys on the next one don't forget to follow Bob the master mechanic and that's it boom